Blue Wave is a B Corp that is revolutionizing energy with simple, powerful solutions. We are committed to transparency and sustainability while working to improve the lives of others. But in many communities, we are finding that farmers, landowners, and neighbors may have legitimate concerns about the impacts of conventional solar development on farmland. To prevent these conflicts, Blue Wave works closely with farmers to create solar arrays for integrated agricultural use. We call it agrivoltaics. For Blue Wave, the core of agrivoltaics is it's got to be producing crops or livestock. There's got to be a product coming out of it in addition to the solar energy. I'm Blue Wave's Director of Sustainable Solar Development, which means I'm sort of an in-house agricultural specialist for Blue Wave. My family has a small farm in Western Massachusetts and initially got interested in agrivoltaics from the farmer perspective. A big part of what brought me into agrivoltaics is the ability to help not only catalyze a renewable energy transition, but catalyze revitalization of diversified local agriculture. We were approached by several different solar companies that want to put a conventional solar system here. We were hesitant on that because we didn't want to tie up our great farmland just for the solar. We learned about Blue Wave and we started a negotiation process with them. And it was a learning curve about this dual use agriculture and being able to graze our cattle and make hay underneath the solar array. I think a lot of people don't understand what that means, right? Dual use solar. I certainly didn't know what that meant in the beginning. We said, you know, we can, we can make it work. We can space the arrays out wider. We can raise the panels up higher to be able to accommodate the farming activity that you're already doing. The distance between the rows really allows me to maneuver my equipment so that I can turn between the rows, back up, move around pretty efficiently. If instead of taking that conventional solar route that's gonna be more about gravel and minimizing mowing costs, designing the dual use of some kind, we're able to create habitats inside those solar arrays, whether those are wildlife habitats or whether those are agricultural, uh, you know, human habitats to have food production inside that solar array as well as renewable energy production. This is my daughter, Michelle. I bought this farm with my wife in 1992, and we're very blessed to raise our kids here. We farm about 400 acres between Palmer and Belchertown, grow beef cattle, hay. I've been farming since I was about six years old when we purchased this farm. I was very blessed to be raised here. It's evolved into a great operation for myself and my family, and we're blessed to be working land every day. My family had purchased the property uh, back in the 50s. We would grow anything from and corn at times, cabbage, uh, peppers, eggplant, zucchini. And then slowly but surely, we put more land into butternuts. The last 20 years, that's all I raised was butternut. We peeled for local supermarket chains and, and packaged it. Great business, a great run I had, but COVID really impacted it. So just for my own health reasons and my age, we just decided, well, maybe this is the right time to, to, to walk away from that. Some of the challenges that farmers are faced with is most farmers sell everything wholesale, but buy everything retail. Our back is up against the wall. Having the advantage of some extra farm income has allowed us to get out from underneath the financial burdens of working in the dirt and to be able to step out and acquire more land so that we can expand our operation. I think all of us are in this process of figuring out how we should do solar right. Communities, solar developers, landowners, we're all getting better at it slowly as long as we keep talking to each other and keep looking for productive compromises rather than assuming we're each other's enemies. We're all stuck on this planet together. We've got to figure out how to actually make this all work. Blue Wave worked very closely with us. If there was any concerns, they ran it by us first. Um, if we had any questions, we had a direct line of communication to them. They've been really great the entire way. Blue Wave came in at the right time and it was a, the right fit for us. What it's done is be able to keep the, keep the land and the family. I did not want to walk away from the land. It's a good fit for us and um, we're grateful. 
I think one of the big things that we're gonna see over time is once people get more comfort with what a solar array can look like and how productive it can be agriculturally and ecologically, they're gonna to start to recognize that this isn't a winners and losers kind of conversation. It's a how do we design it and build it so that it's an asset to all of society, but also even to that neighborhood. We essentially grew up here. This is where we were raised. This is where we learned how to become good human beings. We want to continue farming the land. We want to continue to be stewards of the land. Yeah, I don't see an end in sight for this farm. We are always getting asked, is it real? Can you really farm it? Will the crops really produce? The more different farmers can get out there and experiment, the more we can show to policymakers and to neighbors and to others in the community, yes, this is real, this works, and we just need to unleash the farmers to get out there and farm.